Welcome to Milano, Italia. Being welcomed to music like that, that is when you know you're in Italia. You know, we never just take the time to just enjoy life anymore. We're always rushing, we're always taking the photos, running to our next meeting, but walking around inside the Duomo. Honestly, this place, it's really huge. This is probably the biggest Duomo I have ever been in. And honestly, it'll probably be the biggest you've ever been in. The Duomo di Milano, I feel like the builders really knew how to enjoy life. And they built things to actually, to freaking last. When you walk inside and you see how massive this place is, and you see the sculptures and the detail. Honestly, they really took their time with making all these different portraits stories in this stained glass. We don't make stuff like they used to anymore. Italianos really do know how to make a piece of art from stone, from an oil painting, to just the food. And here at the Duomo, it's more than just a Duomo. It's a soul and a piece of the Italiano people here. Honestly, if I had two words to describe Italia, it would be Mamma Mia. And honestly, pause. I hope y'all know I got an Italian friend's permission to say that. Okay, inside the Duomo was very beautiful, but these rooftop views are just ah, cute. The B roll scene. Wow, guys, this this rooftop terrace is. Beautiful. If you're questioning or wondering, should you come up here? The answer is yes. They built this over 600 years and we're still not at the top, y'all. That's the top. This is what the rooftop looks like. And it is so amazing. You can even see modern day Milano. So classical meeting, meeting the modern day Milano in the back. Immediately after leaving the Duomo, just take a right and you'll walk into this beautiful, gorgeous Galleria. This is the oldest Galleria in Milano and it's named after the first king of Italy. And when you walk in here, there's amazing stores like Prada, Gucci, and the most expensive restaurant here in Milano. I'm not gonna lie though, y'all, like this is breathtaking. Like just looking up at this ceiling. So I think this is a tourist thing to where you're gonna put your right foot on the bull's balls and you're gonna spin around three times but if you don't close your eyes it's it's still gonna be bad luck so we're gonna do this for good luck and we're gonna close our eyes and trust honestly this is homemade pasta and it is so good I'm not gonna lie y'all, I need to go lay down. That was some of the best pasta in my life. For all the Americans out there, when you eat American pasta, you gain weight. You just don't feel the love. But eating that Italiano pasta, you can taste the flavor and the love. Just seeing them roll out the pasta, just, just come to Italia, just come. Do y'all see this arch right behind me? Italia has the Duomo, they have this, they have the Academia of Fine Arts. And what makes Arzo della Pace so important is that this used to be an arts. It was a part of the Roman walls back in the day, the Holy Roman Empire. Don't just come to Italia and not read up on the history because there's history at every corner. Honestly, why does Europe have some of the best and oldest architecture? So right now we're at the Public Academy of Arts, and this is the main center, but we are headed to this exposition. And y'all know, Italians, they know what they're doing with art. This is the Pinacoteca di Biera, and it contains one of the world's oldest collections, Italiano paintings, like pause. Cue the B-roll scene. to my boy, Garencio Ferrari, with this painting right here. Because I never see black people 
represented in the 1500s, the 1800s even. And the fact that he was painting black people in the 1500s, this is okay in my book. After seeing the Pinacoteca di Vera, this place, I don't know, it just, it feels like a living and breathing art gallery. Walking through and seeing all the different paintings, students in there, replicating the masterpieces, and then there's even people restoring the art in there. And some of them study here at this university. I'm sorry for my Italianos. At this academy, to actually bring these works of art back to life. It's not just an art gallery, it's a living and breathing art gallery. Day two in Milano, but first, we have to go get some food before we do anything else. Honestly, just look at how beautiful this pizza looks. I can't think of anything else better to do than starting off day two in Milano eating pizza. This is a marinara pizza, that's that's it. Like, of course, there's olive oil and everything, but it's not like an American pizza where there's all those toppings on it. And, like, this is proof that Italianos know what they're doing and that you just need a few basic flavors and it's the best pizza of your life. So after every meal here in Italy, you have to make sure that you get a macchiato or you get an espresso because they have that food that just makes you just... Just want to go lay down like your grandma's cooking. So that's why you need an espresso to get you on your way. And it's not an American espresso. This is Italian. For all my Americans, if you're wondering, is it Milan or is it Milano? Milano. It's Milano. I have to talk about the man, Leonardo da Vinci, if I'm making a video about Italia. And this is the Museum of Science and Technologies. And I knew the man was a genius, but here they bring all of his designs to life. You can see the inventions. Like this man designed a parachute in the 1400s, a helicopter. And when they bring these to life, they show you that these things would actually have worked. If they show you these things would have actually worked. He was a man way before his time. Probably that one genius that's born every thousand years. That's the man that Leonardo da Vinci was. When you're in Milano, if you're looking for a place to enjoy an Apollo spritz, a vino, people come here to Navili, and this place, I'm not gonna lie, it is the perfect place to see the sunset. It's right here looking over the bridge, but there is one thing that I do not like about this place, and it's the fact that the river is pretty dirty. People are throwing trash in the river and nobody is picking this up. I don't know what the city's doing, but it still is a place to come and enjoy your Apple Spritz, but I really do wish that someone would care more about the nature right here. <laughs> 